Hi! Welcome to Don's Key Tech. I'm back with a new video called MicroPython Interfacing with the SSD 1306 OLED Display. I hope you had fun watching my introduction as it is about the Japanese anime One Piece with me being a big fan. In this post, I will show you how easy it is to program this colorful SSD 1036 OLED display. Let's first discuss the pinout as I am using an I2C SSD 1036 OLED display. There is another variant of this module that is supporting the SPI modules so that there is a different pinout for that module as well. But in our case here, we have the standard pins BCC, the ground, and both the SEL and the SDA are available. For the wiring and schematic, we will just follow the table below. Since we are going to be using the software I2C in MicroPython, so any GPIO could be used as pins for the SDA and SEL pins. Before we proceed with the programming, I will have to discuss a little bit about this SSD 1036 OLED display. Usually, when you buy your module, it comes with a res resolution like 128 by 64. In this case, it means that there are exactly 128 points along the width and 64 points along the height. The coordinates are important as it starts with the 0 and 0 for the leftmost part wherein the first coordinate is the x coordinate and the second one is the y coordinate. So going from left to right, then we will we'll have the this value called 127 and 0 for the rightmost part. This is 127 because our counting starts with 0 but our resolution is 128. Same goes also when you're going from top to bottom. We'll start with the zero, 0 coordinate and since we're going down, the x coordinate will still be 0 but the y coordinate will, will now be 63. If you go into the lower rightmost part, then our x coordinate will change and it will be 127 and the maximum y is 63. This is important to know as we will use this in programming the SSD 1036 OLED display. Let us start with how simple it is in drawing text on our OLED display. We just need to create a class of our SOP I2C in here, passing in the SEL and the SDA pin, and creating an instance of an SSD 1306 I2C class, passing in the resolution, which in this case is 128 by 64, and our SOP I2C pin. As you can see in the code here, we have the method.pill, which will fill our method with block. And then we will call the dot text method passing in the text and the coordinates, x and y coordinates. As you can see in here, I am displaying the SSD 1306 OLED at, at 0 and 0. As I have mentioned in the coordinates in the previous slides, the 0 and 0 starts from here. The SSD 1306 OLED is displayed here. The same goes for the next text. I am passing in the width, but this time I am passing the x as 0 and the y is now 16, which means that I'll just write it from the x 0 and then the y is 16. The width is now displayed at the second row. Then the next slide is about how can you draw primitive graphics in SSD 1036 OLED display. When I say Primitive graphics, it means that we're going to be drawing lines, vertical lines, rectangles, and pixels. So as you can see in here, there is a, a method here called rectangle. And then the pill rectangle are methods also in drawing primitives. The important thing to remember here is that it has several uh, methods or characteristics. So for example, in this case, in the pill rec, we need to pass in the x coordinates, the y coordinates, the width, and the height. As you can see in my sample program in here, I have tried to create 
uh, a battery charge progress bar that will display the charge in here and there's a text below in it wherein it gets updated whenever the value of the charge goes up so the code for this project is available in my github repository so you can check out how this code works from the code below i'm just creating uh, a rectangle first and then after creating a rectangle i'm inside the rectangle i am creating small rectangles in here which represents these three white characters in here also and then the text for the text i'm just displaying it below so as you can see the while loop will just continually update the value of our progress bar so that's how easy it is to write primitive graphics in ssd 1036 oled display the next section is maybe is a little bit involved as you can see is the question is how can you draw image or bitmap in an ssd 1036 oled display First, we cannot load the file inside our MicroPython. So what we're doing here is that we're converting our file into a byte array representation. So the creation of this byte array is a little bit involved. So the companion write-up of my of this video, which you can find in the description, will explain to you how this will work. The images that I have displayed in the introduction, I just created it here in the image repo.py. Now that we have the, the byte array representation of our images, then we can just call the blit method in our frame buffer class. In the frame buffer class, the blit method or the bit block transfer will basically load the image into the memory. And then after loading the image into a memory then we'll just call the display that show which will display our byte array representation as an image so in this case the regarding how to draw the images involves a little bit more steps and i have tried to explain it in the companion write up of this video i hope you can visit that that, that write up so that you would know how this is done that is all for this video the complete code, write-up, and written explanations are in the descriptions. I had fun doing this project and I hope that you will learn something from it also. Happy exploring!